Fairfax. It's going to be the kid out of Fairfax, right? And we are underway. Lined up the middle by South Trimble. And a base runner to begin things for George Mason. Again, six, 17 and in 22 before doing. This is lined in the right field. That's a base hit in front of Salki. Knobloch-esque, unusual type stance. It's down to second. Virginia gets one there. The turn. Two pitch coming from Bryson Moore. And it is a breaking ball that catches the zone at the letters. As he climbs the hill for George Mason. Bouncer left side. Third baseman comes charging. Only the pitcher will have a play on the year. Increase his total and will do so. Dumps one out into right center field. O'Farrell coming on tonight. Dylan McCarthy for put in play. Second baseman has it. This may be a twin killing for George Mason. It will the right. Going to be handled there, and that's the 2 nothing UVA lead after one. He has now worked six and two-thirds on the year. We'll talk about on the 23rd of February. And he gives way here after one solid inning to play in the six and seven spot. And that's going to work its way on through into left field. Base hit. Runner on the move. Here comes the throw from Ference. It is not in time. A solid single into right center field. And on the board, here comes the runner in inning. Trim the lead. Carson Pratt. Go around. After the Winston-Salem Regional Final a year ago. Way around a third after putting this in play is Proct. The freshman starter Moore. To shut it down. That's the same way this second. Bottom half of the second inning, George Mason. But souvenir earns. This is Luke toward left center. That is going to get down. Put in play, that's going to trickle out into shallow right. Center field. Coming home, it is 3-1 Virginia. The run. Becker swings through this. And, and there's a swing and a miss, strike three. So for, for a young freshman on the George Mason. Though it will end with a called strike three, a 3-2. Three, Smith puts this in play. Attempt to backhand it by Becker, and he'll have to throw off balance. But keep George Mason from striking first. He will not do so this time. Punches this through the left side. Bots in the batting order for George Mason. One for two starts to put in play. Could be a couple. At the bag, there's one. The turn. Nothing comes across in. And nine free passes. Bounces this down. Does O'Farrell to third. Going to be handled. Those starts coming last season. It's two and two. This down to short. Got to be handled at short. First inning. Had a hit. Saw. Out of the reach of the shortstop. And it will extend the inning. So Salki. At Harbor Park. And Dedewick takes a 3-2 pitch that is a called strike at the coming against Iowa immediately after entry. First four out of that zone and lead off. Though they like to see those two categories come up. Here's a bouncer that O'Farrell will fill, take the second for one. Through the vacated spot on the right side. To third. With at least a hit. This bounce down to third. Trying to go around the horn and execute the double play. Occasions is the first pitch of the inning. It's sent out into center field. Jordan Smith is. This is going to hit Stefan. Two. Comes as somewhat of a bridge. And that'll help keep him above 300 as he lined. There's been an aggressive. It was the number one team in the country, Winston-Salem-based Wake Forest. And they would advance on for the senior second baseman. 3-1 in play. And that's going to be handled by the second. 
tries to hold the Patriots at bay in the fifth. Won't happen here. Inside that third base line, it's the tying run in scoring position for Ben Jones. Backhanded by O'Farrell, a 6-3 put out. Two. This is in the air. Right field. Who's seen Becker lead it off and a long range for the shortstop. Out one away in the bottom of the fifth. What George Mason brings to the table. He'll put this in play, but right to his counterpart at short. Nine. Series. That was a bouncer up the middle, and that is going to be a sixth hit for Virginia. Tibley. Barrels this up nicely. It is into right and a round tripper. Woody with his fifth home RBI number 23. And the third time in the ball game has been single into the main seating bowl. Here's a swing and a miss strike three going to be taken care of. Run Tonus is allowed all year. A breaking pitch that Woody drove out. left side. There's a base hit 11 hits on the board for George Mason. Opportunities the Patriots have had because uh, the been able to come away well. This is up the middle, going to be backhanded by Becker. He's got a long off balance throw and it's sent out into right field, making 13 hits. And here is that run coming home that would tie the game. Eighth hit of the year in the first inning. Ferentz going to throw down to Anderson. They'll now have to retreat. As backing up a couple of steps shy of the warning track, Whalen makes the catch. Hit right at the left fielder. Being pulled up alongside of UBA. Three transfer that has certainly made his mark. And a right hander lays it in there, finds the zone. Well, they are providing of any catcher on this Virginia team. That's a pretty high number. He runs so well. He runs. And you saw the decision to this contest. George Mason is. Who's have done it three times? Will not be all the way to the base of the wall. Fairman with an initial three bagger this year. Just a fresh reclaiming of the lead by Hubert after his triple. Becker's going to capitalize. He'll place this down in right. He's thinking three. Becker in the list that two run lead. O'Farrell. Fair ball, he'll cash in the and O'Farrell will coast into second base with it is now seven four who's in the George This put in play right side Virginia having played it In this three-run ball, build it. It looked like that may be certainly happy to see that. Well, don't you know it? Baseball is going to find you right back there where he, who's played three of their own, gave up a home run and a couple of, but saw his team hand him the lead right back. It's a bouncer down to short. Going to be worked a couple of frames before Tonus. Dykstra lifts this in the air. Second baseman Becker backs up. He makes it was much lower, and the hit total was much lower. Virginia leads on the scoreboard, 13 to 10 in the hit in the runs column. This is right to Whalen, a one-run advantage. UVA grabbed in the sixth, four at that time. Ferentz going to notch a base knock to get things started. Off the new George Mason pitcher. Out right side to the bag at second for one. Here's the turn, but Anderson. Review that will result in a double through the ACC scoreboard on this Wednesday night. Stefan, left field, ranging over. Is the left. We're going to throw in behind Anderson this time around. And, and he will lift this high and deep right field. Or a triple followed by a of the night. Run home run. The same thing thus far in the seven. We'll dump this into center field. That's a base hit. Third Virginia. Talk about emerging storylines. Not a hit column with George Mason for the first time.
have come with two down. Runner move. A couple of singles score. Puts this in play. Second baseman has it. Have established a 10 phase. Fifth pitcher of the night. Play right center. Make it 14 hits for George. One of the extra base variety and base is Quinn Iron. Give them. And a called strike three that takes care of. Put in play by Wayland there. And Jenning making it a 10 5 game. That frame. Sends this in the air to left. Keep score now. As we head forward in the bottom of the of 27 starts. Jones. With the Patriots. Make it six as he will deposit this over the left field wall. Jacob Ference with five advantage. A little further insurance here. Well, there's that home run power against the Cardinals. Ference, one of those known for decent through it, but one swing. Pitch coming from Augustine. Trimble, and he'll put that in play. Base hit into right field. To also start our pickup where he starts. Into center. Whalen from dropping its first midweek contest at all ACC play. Virginia with three to tech right here on the network.